right guys just a quick little update before we get into the actual video got a new lens i got the g master 1635 2.8 aperture lens which is what i'm shooting on right now you're gonna see the b-roll obviously headed to the compound because i am doing my top five black ops 4 players i know that's gonna be a banger you guys are gonna love that might have some hot takes it's gonna be tough okay because there's a lot of talent in black ops 4 but i also just wanted to update you guys just a little bit on what's happening in my life currently so moving is stressful you guys have heard me say that time and time again Finally, it's coming though. I just set up my internet at the new spot, thousand a thousand. Woo, can't wait. Um, it's looking like we might actually move in a little bit earlier than we, we were planning on. So I've been setting up stuff with the movers and you know, just doing all the real life things. So it's been a little hard to record videos. Uh, more importantly, record the diffuse. Obviously, I have the head to head with Tommy and Asim, which I think is happening, and then the head to head between Attach and Simp to see who is the winner of the first season of the Fuse. Not only do I have to worry about you know what times work for them, because realistically, I want to work around them, but now because of all the moving, also for me, because it's the stuff that I have to get done. So there's going to be a little bit of a delay in the few series hopefully it's not too long I got my fingers crossed hopefully it's not too long but i just wanted to let you guys know that in case you're waiting now let's get into the good part though we're gonna get into my personal top five black ops 4 players let me know if y'all think i'm capping on this but i think this is a pretty good list let's start it now actually guys i'm gonna start this one off a little different i know i normally don't but I think it is deserved just because of how close and how hard it is to actually do a top five in Black Ops 4. So I'm gonna do some honorable mentions. All of these players, I think you could argue or at the very least, they could be in the conversation for being in the top five, probably around the fifth spot, right? You know, you could have Dylan. Dylan is now on my top five list. I think he is definitely an honorable mention. Priesta, Priesta was fantastic. If he was on our 100 Thieves team throughout the whole year, he would hands down be a top five player. Slasher is another player in my honorable mentions. Then you also have RCDs, you have Kenny, Scraps. I mean, these players, if this was a top 10, they'd all be on the list. You know what I'm saying? But it is a top five. Starting out number five, guys, we have Envoy. Now. Envoy is the only player on this list that didn't win a major event in Black Ops 4, but he came damn close <laughs> more than once, okay? He started out, uh, this was his breakout year, actually. Started out on a team called Midnight. Um, very underrated team. They were fantastic in the beginning of the game. They actually beat my 100 Thieves team in the PLQ, and they came out of nowhere. I believe it was Envoy, Jet Li, Parzellian, and Brack, wait, Envoy, Jet Li, Parzellian, Brack, and 5v5. I, I can't remember the whole team, but they were a very solid team. Envoy was clearly the standout player on this team. He got an opportunity to team with Gen G and really be able to show the world his skills, showcase his skills. And that's exactly what he did. I mean, he was one of the best players in Black Ops 4. That's why I got him in number five. You know, he was a very methodical, smart player. He could run, I mean, any gun realistically, but he mainly ran the SOG SMG player. Uh, you would see him use the Maddox from time to time too as well. But just to give you a little rundown on his stats, because I know a lot of y'all out there love stats and that's all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he had a one point something. He should be top five. So just for context, this is only bracket play stats for the whole year okay the whole season of black ops 4 because you guys know how it is man you could play some straight bummies on pool play um at these events bump your you know bump your stats up you know whatever the case may be so these are only bracket play this is what really matters on how well you're playing um throughout the whole year there was only one other sub player with a higher average kd than him uh, and it was simp obviously but Envoy was the only other one in the top 10. He averaged a 1.14, mainly running a SOG. So I have him coming in at the fifth spot. Now moving on to number four, we have one half of the Tiny Terrors in a BZ. Unbelievable year for BZ. He had two tournament wins. Obviously the two biggest uh, events all year in playoffs and COD champs back to back. 
throughout the whole year he had a fantastic uh stat line i guess you would call it for lack of better terms he had a 1.08 overall kd now if you were looking purely at stats okay you wouldn't necessarily think that he would be deserving of a fourth spot or even the top five but it's because you have to understand play styles okay he's one of if not the most aggressive player in black ops 4 and his overall impact in the games that he was playing was unbelievable a bz doesn't necessarily have to have a 1.2 kd to be considered a great player okay because he's impacting the game in other ways now he obviously can't have a 0.7 okay guys but his job is different from like rcds or simp or you know or clay whoever but at playoffs he had a 1.16 respawn kd which was unbelievable um <laughs> and then at champs which obviously biggest event all year he put up a 1.35 respawn kd now to put that into perspective that would be like octane in black ops 4 dropping a 1.8 Okay, because of his play style. He just was on fire, period. Uh, no one was fucking with him. And then moving on to number three, we got none other than the homie Bruce. Big Brucey. Y'all already know Dashy, okay? I get cooked if I don't put him in my list, but this is a well-deserved number three spot for him in Black Ops 4. He did win one tournament. He got one MVP in that tournament. It was the first tournament of the year. And his overall KD throughout the whole, whole year was a 1.28. I mean, he was just a human highlight reel. Okay, and all of Black Ops 4. As simple as that. You put the snipe in his hands in SND, he was gonna world star. You give him the Maddox, he was gonna world star. He was just gonna world star, okay? <laughs> like, there was nothing else to it. Um, to touch on some of his stats, because I know you guys all love to hear that. Like I said, he add a 1.1 to touch on some of his stats, because I know you guys all wanna hear about that. He had a 1.28 overall KD. In hardpoint, he had a 1.29. Okay, overall, throughout the whole year, my man basically had a 1.3 KD, which is unbelievable. Okay, especially because he wasn't like the main AR, the slow player. He was that flex player on Optic Gaming. Okay, guys, and so he was in the mix, uh, super impactful. You know, he was one of the best players when it came to getting those multi kills, you know, popping those two pieces, popping those three pieces, popping those four pieces, popping those five pieces. To really open up the map he ended the season coming in number three and hard point kills per 10 minutes and also number seven for a hard point overall score per 10 minutes okay solid across the board when it comes to hard point he was honestly one of the most electrifying players to watch in black ops 4 and that's why a lot of people really were drawn to him obviously was one off the game so a lot of people already drawn to him anyways but the fact that he was able to consistently put these montages together at events uh, it was something special. You know, he had a fantastic year. I think that was the year that really set him up to be, you know, oh, this guy might be the most talented player in Call of Duty. You know, when it comes just to raw skill, like when you would watch Dashy, it seemed like he just didn't miss. And it didn't matter what the situation, he was always going to hit his shots. Okay, super annoying to play against, if I might add. Coming in at number two, guys, we have the other half of the tiny terrors and that is simp unbelievable rookie year out of him and honestly if he played the whole year i would have probably given him the number one spot but i think just because the lack of sample size even though i i know for a fact he would have been great if he played the whole year you have to you have to give respect to the other players who did play the whole year who consistently played at such a high level but Simp is number two, and here's why. Even though he didn't play the whole year, he had probably the most remarkable rookie year that any player's ever had in Call of Duty. He still won two tournaments, obviously with e United. He was on their like academies, challengers team, whatever you want to call it. He won two events, obviously the two biggest ones, playoffs and champs. And he got MVP for both events, back-to-back -back MVPs. Now he was a SMG player, so he ran the SOG. And he was unbelievable. He averaged a 1.24 KD throughout the entire year, every game mode with a SOG. Now, like I said, the SOG did get buffed uh, near the end of the game, but the fact that he was able to do that with that gun is damn near unheard of, to be honest. That's some like prime scum shit. That's some prime scum shit. 
just to touch on some of his stats guys he had a 1.23 hard point kd throughout the whole year um you know he isn't as fast as a bz right or he's not like the fastest smg players uh, he's not super aggressive but it doesn't matter because his pace for the game his, his understanding of his pace for the game is perfect okay because there are players that are super aggressive right especially in the smg role but they're too aggressive non-stop they don't know how to switch gears okay and simps just overall pace when to when to speed it up when to slow it down it, there might not be a better player in call of duty right now but we're talking about black ops 4 even in black ops 4 there might not have been a better player when it came to that he is cream of the crop when it comes to just really capitalizing on his advantages never putting himself in a bad position and i mean he has all the talent in the world to bail himself out so that's a plus you know not only is he very smart he's got the gunny strapped with it snd is where he really shined though i mean he came from the snd scene guys okay and you know he didn't he didn't upset when it when it came to snd he averaged a 1.59 snd kd ratio throughout his whole year now it wasn't as long as other players because he didn't play the whole year but still to have that good of a snd kd i mean bro he was like he was more often than not getting basically a 2.0 kd you know dropping like a 12 and 6 than going like a 0.7 like it was just unbelievable and he was also Another fantastic sniper when it came to SND. Him and Dashi were the top two. That you could argue who you thought was the best, but that doesn't really matter. Okay? He was super intimidating when it came to SND. And not only because of his snipes, just because he has the, he has the mind for it. He has the mind for SND coming from that scene. He was one of the hardest players to read. Uh, he was great in situations. And he just, he had no weaknesses. He had none, absolutely none when it came to SND. Uh, I mean, <laughs> he had none in general in Black Ops 4. That's why I have him coming at number two. But enough of Simp, man. Great year. I probably would have had him number one, like I said, if he played throughout the whole year. But got to gotta give love. But I got to give respect where respect is due. Got to show some love to my boy. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Number one best player in Black Ops 4, in my opinion, was Octane. My boy, Sammy. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Sam got two wins at Black Ops 4, mostly because of the kid, but back to back as well. Uh, it was London and Anaheim. He got one MVP, probably could have been two, but they gave the other one to Slasher. No, I'm just kidding. It was well deserved. Slasher deserved his first MVP. And Sam averaged in bracket play over the course of the whole year, a 1.24, 1.25 KD overall, which, you know, when it comes to ARs, okay you're like well yeah they're gone they're gonna be slower they're gonna have a higher kd which you're right if, you, if that's what you're thinking right now you're right okay but let me break it down a little bit more for y'all so sam averaged 1.3 kd ratio and hard point coming in number one throughout the whole year obviously you know he's an ar there's gonna be a lot of ars on that list they're slow playing whatever but he also ranked number 10 in hard point kills per 10 minutes and you know he, the, he's the only one i'm looking at it right now he's the only one every other player is your maddox like your flex or your smg and that's because they're getting in more engagement okay now the hard point kills for 10 minutes it has nothing to do with you with your overall kd right or, or just your, your death it's how many kills you get on the map and he's going to find himself or well, he did find himself in a lot less engagements then you're Dylan's and you're Beezy's and you're Priest. You know, I could go down the list. But the fact that he still made it up there meant that everyone that he was seeing, he was killing. Okay. Like he was getting those kills. He also topped the list for hard point score per 10 minutes. Not only was his KD amazing, was he the only main AR in the top 10 kills throughout the whole season per 10 minutes? He was number one in hard point score per 10 minutes. Okay. He's the only one who cracked the 4,000 mark per 10 minutes it is wild. Like Sam had one of the best main AR season. I mean, he had one of the best seasons, but especially when it comes down to a main AR in every category that has ever has ever happened. So I think it's well deserved, man. He was he was just every event always amongst the best. 
no matter what uh he was one of the most impactful players which is very hard to do with him and AR and he did it in Black Ops 4 he's one of the most impactful players in the game uh he just he held it down he he is weird because you don't think about it but he actually opened up the map for us where it's normally the subs because of how he was able to just gun people down from any range and put himself in a position to where he could treat that thing like a do-it-all gun because he had the time I mean, human chart that's his nickname okay i was talking about dashi's talent sam's up there too when it comes to raw shooting skill sam's one of the best of all time so him being able to be as impactful as he was with that ar was huge and it was crucial to our success throughout the year and i think it's a well-deserved number one spot for my boy sammy have a good day everyone y'all know what it is stay safe stay healthy until next time kid is actually i was going to do my little outro thing but look so i'm gonna be moving stuff into my apartment tomorrow thinking about doing uh like a unfurnished apartment tour just so y'all can see it and then also do one when it's all set up let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below too don't forget to like comment and subscribe you already know what it is the kid is out have a good one appreciate y'all Peace.